Hello, everyone. My name is Cornell Allen. I am the Alabama Technology and Motion Specialist located at the University of Alabama at Birmingham, UAB. Go Blazers. The question I have for you today is, what if you can turn any website link into a physical object? Today, we're going to do just that. In this quick step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to show you how to transform any URL text message or contact information into a functional multicolor 3D printed QR code file. Today, we'll use a free website called qr to stl I think it is one of the simplest ways to get this job done. So if you're ready to bridge the digital and the physical and change 2D into 3D, let's go ahead and dive in to qr to stl all right, here we go. So the first thing we want to do is open up our browser. Once we get our browser open up, we want to go to a site, QR code to stl.printer.tools. Want to go here. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this advertisement and click that, get that out the way. And the first thing I want to do is go down here so you can see your QR code options, right? You have text to URL, Wi-Fi, email, contact v card sms and calendar so what i want to do is go ahead and minimize this and pull up my spotify i'm gonna use the tim talks podcast this is a podcast hosted by my colleague angela clark and myself where we try to bring awareness for the different initiatives across the state as well as highlight things that are going on in your district so if you have not had the opportunity to listen to tim talks please by all means take the time and do so whenever your time permits here we go so now I want to click right here, these three dots, and click where it says share. When I get this, all I want to do is click right here where it says copy link to podcast. This gives you the link to the entire podcast and all of the episodes that are listed, not just one particular episode. So go back to the site, and I'm going to paste this URL in. Once I paste that URL in, I want to go through and look at some of the 3D model options. We have the options for the base and the QR code. I think right for right now, I'm going to leave all of these options, whatever the default settings are currently. So I'm going to go through that and look, and I think I'm going to leave them that way. I have the border width, the border depth, but I do want to change right here where it says text. Right there where it says text, and I'm going to leave it in centered. I want to put in Tim Talks because I do want to know what this QR code is. And then I go down here, I see the text size, the margin, the depth. I'm not going to change anything else at this time. All right. So what I want to do now is simply click generate 3D model. When I click that, the model has been generated and it's ready to be exported. So I'm going to scroll back up and click where it says export to STL. Let this run through. Your download will start as it gives me the countdown. And look at there, there's the download. I'm going to open it up in my slicer. And my slicer is Bamboo Studio. You may have a different slicer, but it still should work very similar, if not the exact same. All right. All right. So now it puts the model on the plate. All right. I got a couple of error messages. I need to make sure I get those worked out as well. Right now it's sitting here and Everything looks to be okay. So we're going to make sure that error message doesn't pop up during the print. But as I look here, this will be hard to read. So I want to have two different colors. And with my AMS system with the bamboo, it's easy for me to achieve. So I'm going to go ahead and click here. We have the color white. And before I slice it, I want to go up here, click on the model, and I want to click right here, this paint bucket. Now I'm going to click on the height range and turn this all the way up and i want this to be black so let's go about right there voila it changes it black for me and so now when i slice no error message so that's a good thing i see that the filament change is going to change three times i'm not sure why i may have went a little too deep the cost is 72 cents. The time is going to be a little over now. Now, let me go back to prepare, right? And I'm going to make the whole entire thing white again. All 
All right. So I got the entire model back to its original look. One thing you could do, even if you do not have an AMS system and your slicer allows you to do this, what you could do is click slice. And when you click slice, I want you to go back down. I'm gonna move this up now. You see the cost is different when we print in one color. There are no color changes, but I do want you to go back down to this and see when you start to see that come in. So I'm gonna go up some more. The different layer heights. And about 16 look like that's when those layers wants to start coming in. So I'm gonna right click right here. I can tell it to change filament color, or if you do not have AMS, you can tell it to pause, and that will pause your print. Once the print pause, you can go change the filament, and once the filament is changed to the color that you would like, you can have your printer to resume print, and it will print it in two colors for you. So that's an option for you. So I'm going to go ahead and click change print filament color right there. And it gives me two colors and then we'll go through with it. All right. I hope this gives you a sense of what's happening with this. And I'm going to go back out, prepare. You notice we have two colors on here now. Slice it this time. And let's see what happens when I slice it this way. Okay. Filament change is one. Drop my time. I don't think I dropped my time at all, but I do only have one filament change and the cost is about 71 cents. So I'm going to go ahead and hit print, send that to the printer, give you all a quick time lapse as well as a finished product. I apologize for this time lapse. It looks a little gl glitchy, but I think I slowed it down enough where you can get the gist of what's happening. Also, Here's my three printed QR code sitting on an easel that is also three printed that I grabbed off of Thingiverse. I hope this helps.